Hello everyone, in this video, I will be talking about Teachcology.ai So Teachcology.ai is a new generative AI tool to help educators and lecturers to not only plan for the lesson but also curate suitable materials and design the assessment part Let's explore this so you go to teachcology.ai, it's quite easy to remember, teachcology, right? And then uh, get started for free and you can sign in using Office 365 or Google. So, and immediately you will see this, all right? And of course I have some done with me. Now the thing is, it's free at the moment with some limitation of the credit that you, you have to use whenever you use the robot. The idea here is Teachcology has several features where every time you use it, you will take up the credit uh, for the the robot to be used. So if you click here, you will see that it says here, once you exceed the limit, your robot will need to rest or you can upgrade to a stronger robot to get going again. So I think it's fine because you don't really need to use this like non-stop. You can use it for a while, stop and then continue again maybe tomorrow, right? So what I like the most about this is like you can plan your lesson, you can build your assessment, you can even design courses or unit of work and uh, of course curate some relevant material. So if I click to plan a lesson, all I have to do is to come up with a topic. If I have nothing in mind at all, let's say I want to come up with a new topic uh, or I have a topic but I have nothing in mind, like I don't have any learning outcomes or whatsoever, I can just give a title like this. I'm going to use this as an example introduction to magnets and magnetism so if you have your own outcome you can plus here right meaning you can add your own outcome for example you can take it from your existing course outline or course objective then you can put it here if you don't have it you're going to uh, put some keywords here that you want them to focus on or you want geology to focus on then you will generate some uh, sample uh, outcome i'm going to leave it open because later on after it's generated then we can pick whatever we want and then this is what I like, you can pick the approach, you can choose between inquiry-based learning, direct instruction, and also project-based learning. So in inquiry-based learning is quite similar because it's, it's a big term or umbrella term to cover problem-based learning, challenge-based learning, and also all sorts of uh, inquiry-based type of learning approaches. So pick the language and then, if by the way, if you have any material that you want to upload, you can upload here means it will consider your your material for example your slides or your notes and whatsoever you can upload it here then it will consider those in the process of designing the lesson for you let's say I'm gonna leave it off I'm gonna create uh, the generate lesson draft now it will draft it for you it's draft at the moment it's not finalized and you can see I have skipped the content part if you don't want you can upload whatever you want then it will take about two minutes and, and you know so once it's ready this is what I like it gives you the description you can go through the description whether it's suitable to what you want if you don't want you can edit accordingly and also amazingly the outcomes are aligned according to Bloom taxonomy you can see the level here create apply understand analyze remember understand and so on now if you don't like this you just click edit outcome and you can remove or change well let's say I'm going to remove this I'm going to remove this as well right and you can give coding if you have existing coding within your curriculum or within your courses or your uh, course outline you can do it for example i understand i'm going to put it as c2 maybe or c um c1 and so on you can change this if you don't like it all right so then you can even add your own outcome right let's say I'm, i don't want to do this so i'm going to leave it opened then it will suggest some activities here Right, this is what I like. It will give you suggested activities. You can go through if you like it, and every activity that you have, um, you know, you have seen here, it's aligned directly with the outcome here. So it's aligned directly with the learning outcomes or uh, the objective here. So you don't have to feel like you're gonna lose out the the mapping. Right? You can also pick the skills. Um, or the skills that you want it to be the focus for every activity that it's you know suggesting like if you don't want adaptability you can remove all right so you can go on you can see there's so many here so many brilliant um, ideas that you can use right and if you like it you just save changes 
then what I like the most is if you proceed to the next one resources it will also curate all the resources that they are they have within the uh, within the database to help you put it into your unit or this particular lesson so if I want this for example I can attach it all right but here you can say you know I have to unlock these are all not uh, you know not free at the moment I can use even journal articles from Wiley online library I can just click attach your lesson then you will go to straight here if I find some useful website or the uh, teachcology robot f help you found some then you just click at attach to lesson right so you will you will uh, be attached right so that's one so I think if you if you do not want to use the one available here you can always search for yours and edit it it also comes with the uh, quiz builder where you can align according to the objective here for your for your unit you can click uh, generate questions and then you will generate question accordingly now this is what I meant here you can see here your robot can perform 13 more action this shift because after that you have to wait all right because they are trying to balance out the usage for, at the moment you can see the quiz um, you know is, is built upon based on the uh, LO just now if you don't like it you can change right you can see the difficulty level easy medium hard and so on if you don't like it just click the three dot and edit or move it down move it up right then the pedagogical part is for you to understand some of the uh, concept that they are holding through so they are suggesting something for you to read on the uh, on the pedagogical aspect so you come you can also add glossary you can also deliver the lesson directly if you're if you're a premium user you can add references you can upload your files here where all the loaded uh, references will be will be given here what happened is if you click deliver your lesson the student can actually directly view everything from according to your lesson plan just now right and if you do not want to use Teachcology as a medium then you can export to Word or you can export to JSON if your other platforms support JSON so uh, the Word document will compile all the material just now and you get to use it in your lesson all right so um, try to explore this uh, there are more to come I'm sure because this is still quite new to be honest and um, you might want to explore further this is just a teaser for for what you can do you can see I have generated three sets here three types of lesson what I like the most about this is the activity that they suggest um, it's quite interesting and it's aligned to the uh, learning objective or learning outcomes okay all right so try to explore teachcology.ai and let me know in the comment section whether you think this is a useful tool for you thank you very much and see you in the next video